So, welcome to part two of Icon in Planet Coaster. Now, this ride, since the last episode was recorded, has actually opened, and it looks like an absolutely amazing ride. Um, I am going to be going out to ride it in July, I think, and I'm really excited to go and ride it. It looks, everyone's saying, well, some people are saying, oh, it's slow, it, it doesn't pick up to the speed that you'd expect. It looks a very good speed. But, um, I was about to say there's nothing to do with this video because it is, because it's Icon. But, basically, today I do a lot on this Planet Coaster recreation. I build a lot of the theming around the area, um, mainly with the artificial grass there and the exit corridor, which is a bit inaccurate because you can't really actually do it in Planet Coaster because you can't have back on back stairs going up and up without it looking stupid but um so yeah as you can see fencing is going in now I did do the queue line layout some of the queue line layout off um off recording uh just after I finished the first part where I just built the coaster but um as you can see just placing some bushes along there and yeah, so that is where the entrance of the ride is. It's not a very long queue line, but apparently because of the operations, it keeps up very well with that. So, um, yeah. And here's like a fenced area. There is a bit of a patch where there's a load of grass and plants and stuff over by where that queue line kind of goes right and then down again. Um, so yeah. And as some people have said, I know way too much about this ride before I've even been on it because... I've re well, not researched it, but I've looked at it so much now to do this that it's basically I know the whole layout off by heart. It's it's quite easy to do that, but I know where theming is and stuff. It's kind of stupid. And also, I did get a question in the previous comment section saying whether I'm going to build Steeplechase or not. Yes, I am going to be building Steeplechase, Big One, and Big Dipper in this series. So, um, yeah, so here's that little dirt patch going in. I did try and use terrain to do it, but it obviously didn't work. And obviously just planting some grass bushes there. Why do I keep saying grass? Uh, and then putting some fences in here. I do eventually change this. Uh, it's not in this episode, but I will change this at some point because it does look quite bad. And now, onto the station. The station, what you don't see in this video is the exit was too small. And it is act well. The exit corridor in the building was a bit more accurate, but now I've had to make it even wider because guests were getting stuck there and they were reaching for help or something, and I was just wondering what the hell was going on. So I had to make it a lot more wider. And yeah, so here is where I'm doing the station. If you don't know, there's a bunch of mirrors in the wall. I think there's five in the end. And the station does look very nice. Obviously, I can't do the lighting unless it's night time in this game because the lighting effects are just messed up completely. Because you have to have it at night to actually see the lighting. Uh, inside buildings, it'll just be daylight because it's that weird. But um, as you can see, just putting in the makeshift mirrors now. Obviously, you can't make mirrors in this game. I don't do the back of the station where you actually walk in. I, I will do that in the next episode. But... Um, yeah, so that's just the main basis of the station, and I'm now going to start doing the baggage hold, which is where you put your bags, and also the area where the transfer track is. I'll put a little video up on the right of the screen now of the transfer track. And as you can see, it basically halves the station, gets rid of the baggage hold, that goes back, and then they bring it on, and somehow it works like that. I am going to be doing that in the future probably in the next episode the maintenance area but you won't be able to see it because yeah um, and here's where I do the absolute failure of an exit now as you can see right now it is way too big of a path but I end up do decreasing that didn't make sense I end up decreasing the amount of space that takes up in the middle um, that does take a little while to get the hang of but then it just covers over with the artificial grass and also some barriers to just block it all in um, and as you can see I had to redo the turn thing because obviously I haven't been there I haven't been on it and I didn't really know where the exit was and I didn't know that I was pretty much a square and as you can see here doing the uh, barrier sections right there obviously the exit I've said this before but it's going to be very inaccurate because of Planet Coaster has its limitations with it because 
I can't make stairs that go back on each other. I know I've said that already, but I'm just stressing it even more because it's just not going to work. And as you can see here, covering armor the artificial grass, it really works that way. So it actually looks like it's a smaller path than it actually is. And it ends up working. So I'm pretty happy with that. And obviously covering up those bits with another add building type thing there. And I do the same over by the second launch because just underneath the first launch you see that stone kind of... I don't know really what the shape is, but it's a stone kind of foundation for it. That will go on the second launch and behind that won't be artificial grass, it'll actually be the stones which you see similar around to the area where the incline loop is. Because I've done that but it's not in the video, because you can see that I've done the entrance as well. That's not in this video either, I don't think. So, something's obviously happened, I'm not too sure what. But uh, now, we're building the shop, and using the entrance sign with the icon dagger, I decided to put that there, that'll probably get improved in the future. But this is just the shop front, I'm not going to be doing the shop inside, because what's the point in guests walking around it? I mean, I could but it's not needed in this moment so I might do it in the future if I have time but um, as for now I'll leave it like this and I'm just putting the stuff around the top I'm not going to use a normal flat roof I am going to use these art shapes putting glass in the windows and obviously the MMX VIII I think it is the number if I remember off the top of my head and yeah so obviously you can see now I'm building the big one now this is obviously the first of many different interactions with Icon and there's a lot to do especially steeplechase because I'm gonna have to either do that all, out of all art shapes or I'm gonna have to do it out of turned on its side Gerstlauer Eurofighter track someone did suggest that and it's a decent idea but um yeah that is it for this Icon part 2 video there will hopefully be more parts in the future um, I'm not looking to do them every week or so because I want to kind of spread it out but um yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.